Welcome to a very special run. This is not any official mutation. This is actually an interesting but useless bug that I maybe I first discovered. I don't know if other people have discovered this, but it's extremely useless. So that's why um, I don't think any, if it hasn't been found yet, I don't think it, there's a reason why it hasn't. So the mutators here are the ones that are used, going to be used in uh, CTG's 1v2 mutation deconstruction. And um, I discovered this while experimenting for that uh, event. And uh, I start off with the gateway because I don't need it. It's just gonna block. This probe here is going to build a robo and this probe here is hiding a base in the corner, uh, hiding cannons. So the plan is pretty easy, pretty simple. I'll show you, actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let you find out. So the robo is for probes, uh, observers I mean, and there I'll get three cannons. And then I'm gonna let them wreck my base. I'm going to let them wreck my base, and during this time I'm checking for angry turkeys, because angry turkeys are the most threatening enemies in this game. They can find my hidden base just by existing. I need to uh, get rid of my probes, so after I get three cannons I will make as many uh, observers as I can, four to five, and then we'll go. So here, get the first artifact, and then I'm gonna go back and clear all the uh, angry turkeys. So I'm actually clicking on them to see which ones are angry and killing them. And I need to kill them because if they don't die, they might wander off to the bottom left corner and find the hidden base. So I'm just looking. I'm not doing anything related to the objective. I'm just looking around for all the turkeys, killing all of them, as many as I can. I'm going to spread observers so that I can uh, project cannons later. So I'm here again, I'm clearing all the angry turkeys that are near the, the main. The ones that are outside of the main, they won't wander far enough to actually uh, enter the main area, so I'm going to leave them alone. Like the ones on the left side, I'm going to leave them alone. Now I'm going to spread observers to like certain spa safe spaces so that I can so that I can get vision to project cannons to lure enemies away. So for gifts and void rift enemies, if they don't have vision of any buildings, they don't actually move. So they're going to stand there. And I'm not going to clear any void rifts because um, I, I need as many enemies on the map as I can. So now I'm going to use the uh, suppression crystal and I'm going to destroy as many cannons as I can because I want to get rid of their detectors kill their detectors and then I'm gonna start getting rid of the, the, the shards I have to make sure I don't get I don't kill the fireworks so just slicing the shard hidden threats sure And uh, I'm not clearing any Void Rifts because I need all of them to keep spawning. I'm checking the life of the shard because I want, want the last one to die in just one swipe. So I'm going to kill one. And now I'm basically going to waste six minutes. So um, I'm, I'm not going to do anything for six minutes. So let's just fast forward. Um, one thing I did notice was that um, the air enemies, they kind of know where I am, so no matter where I go, they seem to follow me. Maybe because there's an observer, I'm not sure. But um, nothing important happens in eight minutes. So for this whole time, six minutes, six minutes. I'm just going to wait till the timer runs out. Not here. I'm just going to basically stand here. Um, in the meantime, I'm like projecting cannons here and here just to like see. It's, it's testing my uh, bug thing, because if I can no longer project the cannon, that means there are too many enemies on the map. And that's what I'm waiting for. So I'm waiting for this time to run out, and I'm just going to keep going faster because nothing happens. So attack wave is coming. I'm going to dodge it. I'm going to project the cannon. Okay, they, there's, still, there's still room for more enemies, so I'm going to wait a little longer. And here we are, just gonna wait until the time goes down. It's lagging because there are so many enemies on the map. 
nothing happens though. So we're just gonna wait till the time is about to run out. See, I'm just dodging. There, there are two beams heading towards me, but doesn't matter. Just waiting, left. waiting. Waiting, 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 okay. One minute. Still projecting cannons to see if it works. Yep, still can project the cannon. Alright. Cool. One minute left. Let's go down a little bit further. Okay, growing again. Alright, so... You see, all the enemies from the rifts, they go towards buildings. So I'm projecting... Oh, I thought... Huh, they... I can still project the cannon, which means there aren't enough enemies on the map for this to work, which I thought. Then, uh, as time's running out, I'm just gonna go when it's like 10 seconds left, so I'm just waiting. I can't project the cannon anymore, so I thought, uh, well, 10 seconds left, so I'm just gonna project the cannon. I can still project it, but let's see what happens. I kill it. And pay attention to this number. Six. As long as our minds are clear, 10. What happened is, there are so many enemies on the screen that the Void Shards couldn't spawn, and as a result, they just count as dead shards, and then I win. So, each shard has 5,500 HP, and I did only 29,000 damage, so yeah. Interesting bug, very, very useless in actual gameplay, but pretty cool nonetheless.